The way he perceived it was President Trump asking him to end the probe into Michael Flynn, the embattled uh, former national security advisor. And so uh, he felt for ethical reasons, legal reasons, it was important to document this. The people at Justice Department who've been uh, just very concerned that the firing of Comey would, would at least damage the appearance uh, of their independence. Uh, but this is bad news if you're at the White House, because now you have no idea where this is going. When I made that decision, I actually thought that it would be a bipartisan decision because you look at all of the people on the Democratic side, uh, not only the Republican side, that was saying such terrible things about Director Comey. In addition to saying I faced great pressure because of Russia, that's taken off. I know he also, as you've reported, said he wasn't under investigation himself. Oh, of course. Yeah. But, but he made a joke about uh, Kislyak, who, of course, uh, yeah. you know, Kislyak's uh, conversations with uh, General Michael Flynn. Something is obstruction mm -hmm. of justice. Like, what would have to be proven in order to go there? Okay. Tearing up uh, evidence, uh, failing to comply with a subpoena. The Russia investigation still hangs over the White House. The Senate Intelligence Committee wants to see the White House notes that reportedly led to bombshell report in the New York Times. The report claimed during the president's meeting with Russian officials at the White House. The director of the FBI had indicated that there might be, at least it was under investigation. Right. Uh, the president was uh, frustrated. He was looking to relieve the pressure. Uh, so he turned to these two people and he, in, separate, in separate meetings or phone calls and basically asked them to do this.